Welcome to part three of Tekken 7. We're in chapter five. Where I finally found your name. And we're going to Oh. We're going to oh. Yeah, we're gonna see a special guest in this part. I'm surprised I don't remember any of the story because I did like Because play it's it. bad. It is pretty dumb. But I think when Tekken 7 came out, I like blitzed through it in one night. Yeah, it's a, it's a short story. It's only two hours long. So who is Kazumi? Kazumi is Heihachi's wife. Oh, okay, okay. I know exactly who this is then. Stop. Yes. Get some help. <laughs> I know the tone of your voice. <laughs> <clears throat> Somehow, even though I've... In the years I've known you, 90% of conversations I have with you are in text. I can I can hear the tone of your voice when you do yes! things like that. <laughs> You, you should know by now. Terrence doesn't think of his mind. He thinks of his, you know. <laughs> My brain is 85% calm. No, 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 no. You think of your dick, not your mind. Exactly. That's why 90%... You, that's why you think Family Guy is funny nowadays. <laughs> uh, first of all, I've I've always thought Family Guy was I funny. I said now. I'm talking about modern season. Uh, see, Family Guy is like twice as funny now because we've reached like pre-post irony. Like Yes. Like, we've reached this point where, like, humor has gone in such a circle that just watching old Family Guy is really funny again. Yeah. Finally. <laughs> My waiting wait o paid off. <laughs> Family Guy funny moments. Y'all ruined Jet Set Radio, man. No, we made it better. <laughs> Dude, that guy's a legend, Hideaki, or have you pronounced Hideki Hideaki. I shouldn't even try Not, uh, to pronounce H the name. Hideki Nakamura. Yeah. Yo, right, all so he can, can does. I just, can, can I just say something about Jet Set Radio? No. What? I haven't played it yet, but everyone talks about how great it is, except for its gameplay, which really makes you think. Well, Deji, you have to understand understand the concept. Oh, you fucker! <laughs> okay, first of all, um, you need to drop him a stair. Well, <laughs> whoa! What is with that side view? That that side view mouth is kind of weird. It looks like he's actually kind of like Poggers. <laughs> Stop. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Stop. Stop. Get some help. I don't know. Please. I never played Jet Set, but everyone tells me how, how great it is. No, people talk about how great its aesthetic and music is. Yeah. And Not the game that's, itself. That's, that's kind of where I was trying to go. See, really... It, what the f- Oh, right, she's a robot. Yeah. That makes it's, her better, uh, Terrence. I mean... I, I guess? I, it doesn't really matter to me. She's a killer robot. Uh, that is, did he just- That what? sounded like Jotaro. I don't- I don't- Oh, no. Eh. Isn't there a? Isn't that? I'm pretty sure. Look, it's I know that Jotaro is voiced by Silver the Hedgehog. What? In Jeff? Yes. Oh my God. I know. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is Tekken. I'm thinking of the, the girl who's like a, uh, an otaku. Uh, Lucky Chloe. Yeah. 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 But her. isn't she? Isn't she supposed to be American? No. She's, I think she's supposed to be Korean. I don't know. Her character speaks in, uh, you know, in English, but uh, intentionally, to my understanding. But I don't. Know, anybody who plays Lucky Chloe isn't my friend. <laughs> not not after what she did to Eddie Gorder on that. Oh, night. dude, you got you get the the worst. It's like all that punishment for all the kids in Tekken Three spamming circle as him. Yeah, that's what he gets, I guess. Wait, so does Lucky Chloe speak in, like, full English like Terry does? No. Oh. It's... She's an like, idol. Like, the only... The only lines of Lucky Chloe's I even know are when she goes one, two, three in her super, because it's really annoying, and, like, Rocky Hey, Crowley. hey, hey look, uh, also, look at it this way. At least... At least, uh, Eddie didn't get the Paul Pena treatment. What, being... Being good forever. <laughs> oh, she did. 
I mean, even, what do you mean, like, Paul Phoenix treatment? He's sort of been the comedy I, 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 character I, 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 for a long I'm time. I'm talking about in terms of plot relevance and what he's done. Oh, yeah, no. Uh, Paul's just... Paul and Law, they should do Paul and Law's, like, Fantastic Adventure or something. That would just be grand to me. Remember, Paul won Tekken Fury, the tournament, and beat Ogre. Yep. I wouldn't put it... What is this, like, a Tekken 4 cutscene they're using now? Six. I I don't why I don't know how I like this fucking what is this toy animation with pulling the fucking clips from Dragon Ball Z Kai. Wait, they did that in Super, yeah. Oh. Like at, there are times when they brought up events from uh, Trunks killing Frieza or Go Tanks, and they used. Oh, that was a weird cut. Well, use the old footage. Yeah, they used the old footage, but it's not from when they first made it. It's from uh, Dragon Ball Kai. The footage is taken from Kai. Huh. And it was put into uh, a flashback in a super episode. Oh, actually, Lee's voice actor is Zero from Mega Man X4. The Japanese one. Huh. Hmm. Well, and he also voices Vamp from Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty. In the Japanese version, I assume. Yeah, I think I've I've played all three, all the three major Metal Gear games, four and beyond. Those are all up in the air, but I don't think I ever played them with Japanese audio because David Hayter was killing it back in the day. Yeah. Oh, I mean, and I David replaced them with, David Hayter. And I replaced them with Kiefer Sutherland. For some and then reason. and then Kiefer Sutherland had like twenty two lines in Ground Zeroes, and uh, which is like, why would you get him? He's expensive. I, I know there was the whole the the facial capture thing, which was actually somewhat effective. I don't know how much of it was was Kiefer's work or the animator's work, mind you. Because I will actually give a little bit of credit, even though <clears throat> oh, coughed fourteen day quarantine. No, I just that's a bit of food. <laughs> it was only a bit of food. Don't worry, I was having an almond. But um. No, like, um, there are some good facial expressions in the in the facial animation in uh, Phantom Pain, especially on, on Venom Boss there, but, like, did you need... Would it, would it have made a difference if Kiefer did or didn't do it? I mean, I don't yeah. know. Like, if, I don't if, know. If, if Metal Gear, five wasn't complete, right? Yeah, it sort of... Did you ever play it? No, I've never. I haven't played a Metal Gear game yet. I right, don't invite me back on any of this in, until you do those. But um, yeah, no, like it's sort of like five. Like you get to ch you get to the end of chapter two, and it just sort of has like falls apart. It sort of just stops. Like it just sort of stops. Like a big plot point happens, and then like it's sort of like abandoned. And then, like, cuts to, like, the end-end where it just ties up everything in the game. So there's, like, this big, empty gap of information still. And it feels like there was supposed to be something else, and it just, it all feels very, uh, unfinished. Because, because it is. Do we, do we know what actually happened between Kojima and Konami? Yeah. Yeah, I, we know. Do we? Uh, I mean... They just, it's like Koji, Konami changed directions, they didn't really want to make games, and they were treating the imports like crap, but not to mention Kojima, you know, he's very expensive and whatnot, and apparently he was also difficult to work with, but... I can see uh, that. Alleg uh, allegedly, they, uh, he, he was forced to work com in a completely separate room from his employees. I remember I Konami didn't allow him to take the award. Oh, I found out the Game Award, but the Metal Gear Solid 5 won. I remember that. It was a very strange thing, like, and I don't think all the information ever really came out, but... Hey, Death Stranding came like, out, and... Like, but it's like, Konami was really on something really stupid crap. You think I was about Sony buying some of their IPs? Yeah, I was, just, I was just thinking about that. There was a rumor that Sony wants to buy, um... Konami IPs like uh, Castlevania and Metal Gear. Why Castlevania? And, and, because uh, Castlevania is hot right now, dude. No, 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 no. I, I know that, but it's like I feel like I don't want Sony to touch Castlevania. I feel like Castlevania would be better in the hands of 
like Capcom or yes. well, Nintendo. Well, you, they, that could happen. Like if Sony, because, say, because the rumor is with Castlevania, they want to make it wanna, like Bloodborne. Yeah, they want to make it like a Bloodborne game, and that's not Castlevania. It really so depends, like. like uh, because if Sony bought the the rights, they could give it to Capcom per se, and maybe something good could come out of it. Or they could give it to a first party developer, and it could be a walkie-talkie game. Yeah, that's what I know. No, no, it'll want. probably just be like Bloodborne, which I heard I, people I, is good, but it's like I you think played you would rather you would rather make a two D Metroidvania first before you try to be experimental with your... Yeah, like, when I think of Castlevania, I either think of A, classic, like, hard platforming, or Metroidvania. I was really you expecting know. to make some sort of booby joke in there, I gotta tell ya. Yeah, he, he, that's that's the Pachinko games. <laughs> yeah, Castlevania really isn't that horny. Really? Really? Something about vampires isn't horny? I guess they're the horniest look, look, fictional look, creature. It came out in the '80s, not in, not when Twilight was on the rage. Okay, relax. No, if you like the original, like old old school vampire text, it's all eulogies for sex and. and oh and no, no, it is, yeah. it, it is. But I feel like Castlevania was very. It's kind of like JoJo, how it was pretty. It came out in the uh, same year. Yeah, it was a very big, masculine series. Big man comes into town, knocks yeah. the door down, eats all your turkey. Beats you up. Really, it's it, it is, perfect it is kind of scary how Castlevania yeah. One and Phantom Blood pretty much have the same plot for the most hey, part. If it works, a little bit. I would say Castlevania Three is a little bit closer to Phantom Blood. Yeah. See, my Castlevania knowledge isn't quite good enough, unfortunately. To, I know plenty about JoJo Part One through uh, Six or whatever, but. It's it, Look, it is you, similar. Yeah, family lineage. The main villain is is the reason for everything that's happening. Yeah, yeah that makes you sense. Got, it's really up to part part three then. No, no, because no, even he, even so, with part four and five, Dio is still involved. Uh, uh, yeah, he is still a factor, actually. He, yep. Yes, especially with part six. Yeah, and now oh, I yeah, that was I'm a, just, that was I gotta rush. I gotta eat the crow because I totally phrased that all wrong. Because part six. Wait, is... wait, 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 wait a minute. Why do you say part six specifically? Because I guess without spoiling the main anything, villain is uh, part six is Star Ocean, right? Yes, yeah. the main I, villain I, I, was uh, Dio's he... love interest, apparently. Or oh, uh, you gotta be you gotta be fucking kidding me. <laughs> well, at, you, at the very least, heavily influenced by Dio. Yes, <laughs> at the very least. But they might have been diddling. They might have been having a little yeah. bit of fun. Yeah. That's the thing about Dio, though. I don't really think... I don't take Dio which, one to which be... Which makes it weird, because, like, really? He felt like Dio was probably manipulating, but no. From what you see in the flashbacks, it looked like Dio genuinely did care about this guy. Which is weird. Yeah, yeah that was... because... Then again, it's also Giardino's existence is weird. It's just like, how did Dio not kill that woman that he? Has well, slept with? isn't there isn't there either a comic panel or a part in the anime where Giardino literally has a signed picture of Dio? I'd have to read it. Yeah, yeah. Because I didn't. I, uh, I'm gonna admit I didn't actually watch the the part five anime. I read it, but I uh, I just didn't feel like watching it, so I I figured I'd I'd do it all in one batch at some point. Yeah, I, I gotta get to part five. But I did uh, I did read it, but that was a while ago too. They just flipped the image from earlier, didn't they? <laughs> yeah. <Yes. laughs> fucking pisses me off. Okay. So wait, I just realized when are we gonna get to Jin's mom? <laughs> yeah, I what the chapter was called or something, wasn't it? It was like Kazumi or something. Yes. You're talking oh, about well. Kazuya's mom. Or Heihachi's wife. Or are yes. you talking about Jin's mom specifically? I'm talking about mommy Milkies. No, but yeah, Kazumi was married to Heiachi, and their son is Jin, and not Jin, uh, Kazuya, and Kazuya's son is Jin, and I don't know who the hell the mother is. Oh, wait, I do, because it's... June Kazama. June, because she was the boss in Tech Attack 2. Yeah, her her, her uh, existence is weird, because, like, she existed and then disappeared, because it implies that, oh, Ogre killed her, but no, apparently she might be alive, and they're never going to resolve that. And there's also, isn't there a relationship, like, um, between 
um, like a, a family link between Jin and Asuka too. That like yeah, never. They're, they're... They're cousins it's, or something, right? Yeah, they're cousins. And it's been established, but they canonically they've never interacted. That's, that's sad. I would probably not want to interact with Jin if he was my cousin. Yeah, I, yeah, I don't uh, want to interact with the guy who's Star Wars War Free. Yeah, I'd be that's like, fair. <laughs> make a lengthy Facebook post. Family <laughs> blood may be thicker than water, but I can't condone what Jin's done. My second cousin, I, I third remove. Oh, don't don't get me fucking started because I no, have no, no, my Asuka. family gets in Facebook Asuka, squabbles. Asuka, and Asuka is not that type of person. She'll be like, "Wow, my my family is full of shit." Yeah, no, I don't want uh, I don't want Terrence to learn too much about Asuka because then he'll just start making fun of me. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Huh. Um, you'll probably do, you would just start making fun of me. No, no, and, no. Uh, just make fun of just make fun of him of liking uh, all his waifus. No, yeah. because like his no, no, because see, Terrence Antoine owns it. Terrence like owns it. I could be like, hey, you're trying to look at Big Samus ass pics, and Terrence would be like, hell yeah, brother. Yeah, and, exactly. And then somebody would be like, hey, uh, Joe, Noah, etc. Every the hundred fucking names I go by, and they're like, what kind of girls do you like? And I'd be like, don't talk to me. You don't fucking know me. <laughs> You think I'm joking, but like every once in a while, my mom's like, "What kind of what kind of girls do you like?" Hey, uh, look, you it's know Akuma. Anybody? Hey, it's that guy. Hey, Akuma, what kind of girls do you like? <laughs> I respect all women. Yeah, no. No, Akuma. So Akuma will only respect strong women. <laughs> That's so fucking weird, man. I don't know. It ended. They... Because his design is more real. Because Street Fighter is overly cartoony, while Tekken tries to be more realistic for the most part uh, in terms of its design. I, See, I don't I actually think he translated very poorly at all. Yeah. No, 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 yeah, he didn't. But, it's just, it's so, it's a crossover that's so weird. Do I need to remind you that Negan is in this game now? Fair. Because I think Geese it's Howard uh, and not yeah. this. Well, see, Geese Howard fits right in. Yeah. yeah, Geese fits, but fucking Negan and Noctis, that's... But see, I, I think that's sort of the the fun of it at this point, is like, you can kind of do whatever you want with Tekken. Uh, also, I like how Akuma's shadow... Yeah, <laughs> it's like, yeah, no, who is this guy? <laughs> Wait, like, are you playing as Akuma? Yes. Oh, okay, D uh, and Akuma pretty much exactly plays like he does in Street Fighter, right? Yeah, for the most part. It's Street Fighter, not exactly Street Fighter, but it's close enough. It, which, yeah, it, which makes it, you wonder if they're doing this to test the grounds for Tekken Cross Street Fighter. I don't that's, know. Nah, they that's, should. That's trapped. That's trapped in the water somewhere. I, I want it to happen. I think it would be cool, you know, but but uh, then wait, again, wait, didn't they didn't they try to do that? No, the, Street they, Fighter. They did, they, they, they did they Street did. Fighter cross Tekken, and then they said that they were going to make a Tekken game that with Street Fighter characters in it. But I guess because it launched so late in the last gen, and because Street Fighter Five and Tekken 7 are doing well, they don't want to kill their market right now. Yeah. Because Harada, Harada talked about this a few months ago. He's like, are, are people still interested in it? And it's like, I don't want to like kill the market. It is a tough one, because I would actually wager when the next console gen drops, we probably are just going to get remasters of, like, Street Fighter V, Tekken 7, Soul Calibur... No, nah, because backwards compatibility. No, I think they would probably have some sort of beefed up version with all the DLC in it. Okay, no, yeah. this this doesn't make any sense. Why, why did Mina's guard speak Japanese, but Jin's guard speak English? I think you're asking too many questions. I think that's uh, information you don't want to actually have. Uh, <laughs> no, because you see, G Corporation is mostly American-based. The Mishima Zaibatsu. Uh -huh. Wait, why is this music playing? Because I didn't want to go through the same boss move with the same character again. No, oh, but this is a Smash Ultimate remix, so everything's forgiven. Hey, it's done by the same guy who composed Streets of Rage. Isn't this just going to get your video flagged, like, immediately? No. Oh no, I've I've edited in fucking Disney and Star Wars and I've I've edited in nah, Star Wars. Nah, Nintendo has pretty much laid back when it comes to this stuff so This isn't Nintendo. Oh fuck it's Smash, never mind. Yeah, I had to, I had tabbed out for just a second when that started playing. I'm like and I was very confused. Wait, that actually does make me curious. 
since it is a Street Fighter song, but it debuted, it's a remix of a Street Fighter song, but it's in a Nintendo game. What is the copyright claim? Is it Capcom or is it Nintendo? Yeah, it's, ca it's Capcom. It's Capcom. Ah, I don't know anything about that stuff. Christ. Oh, right, isn't Akuma, like, hired to... Hired? Kill? <laughs> <laughs> hired to kill Kazuya and Heihachi. Yeah. Because, like, he was friends with Heihachi's wife. That's... That's a weird friendship. <laughs> but he just ex But Heihachi's like, why did you wait until now to do it? Oh, I was just waiting for you to get stronger. That's very in character of Akuma, though. Yeah, True, it but it's still BS because she said because she specifically told him kill him before he becomes a threat to the world. Uh, he's like the worst, he's like the worst hitman on earth. He's like, yeah, I was gonna I was gonna shoot you from my sniper tower, but I figured I'd wait until you had like way more bodyguards and stuff first, you know. I wanted to challenge. Yeah, <laughs> I wanted a challenge. It is but in character the, for a But congratulations, yeah. the world is screwed over because of you. So every, so technically, if you want to be technical. Everything that happens in Tekken is all Akuma's fault. <laughs> yeah, you're kinda right, aren't you? So, how, when in Street Fighter does this take place? Then? Okay, dude, the Street Fighter timeline is confusing enough because this timeline is Street Fighter 1, Street Fighter Alpha Series, Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter 4, Street Fighter 5, then Street Fighter 3. Yeah, that's dumb. Uh, sh yes, Street Fighter, canonically Street Fighter 3, it's the last thing to happen. But the reason why they went back in the timeline is because it, Street Fighter 3 didn't do so hot and people like the old school characters. I mean, you could easily just retcon shit. I mean, you could. Uh, and... Also, Alex is just okay. It's a shame, because I actually... He's, he's no Ryu. Yeah, but, like, I actually, he, I like Alex, and he's probably one of my favorite characters to play in 3, but there was this what, what, weird a attempt to make him the poster boy, and it sort of failed. Because you, you make your poster boy a grappler, that's, uh, you're kind of screwed over. I mean, yeah. It's not even that, it's like, you already have Ryu, like, you don't even, don't even bother trying to retire No, Ryu, Ryu wasn't even supposed to be in it, it was supposed to be a whole new cast. That's fucking super armor. Yeah, because it's a setup for this thing, yeah. I love that special. Hm. It's so weird that fucking Yoshi has that. Yeah. <laughs> That's a victory pro. That's so fucking bizarre. I love how the Setsuya no Hado is supposed to kill somebody, but it never kills anybody. <laughs> anybody, yeah. Uh... Akuma sucks! <laughs> I'm gonna turn out... <laughs> This blows. It's like, he, he used it on Bison. Bison's still alive. He, he used it on Yeah, but his Bison's brother. like Sigma, where he's like 500 different bodies. Well, I mean, yeah, they do. It's also interesting that they do look alike. They have the same chin and smile. They have the same muscles. Yeah. I figure if I had extra bodies, I'd keep the chin, you know? Like, I'd want that to look the same. No, Sig Sigma's chin is very massive. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Fighting sorry. game war is interesting, ain't it? It is if it's Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Mortal Kombat oh, lore kicks ass. Oh my god, look, I'm just gonna say this right now. Mortal Kombat 9, it was supposed to honor the fr franchise's legacy, but, mo but move on. Mortal Kombat 10, it was supposed to be... He, a new generation. Mortal Kombat 11, lol, screw that, we're resetting the timeline again. Yeah, I, that was kind of dumb. <laughs> like, yeah, no, they get, it, but at least they have the option. They know, like, we could just always reset this. Um, but before the episode uh, wraps up, I will say the the best thing about Mortal Kombat lore is there are no rules, and it's because of that it becomes like He Man, where like if you have a cowboy fighting a ninja and like uh, the big muscle gladiator guy shows up, you don't even think about it. You say, awesome, the cowboy's fighting the ninja. You never question <laughs> theme at all, because there is none. Anything goes. Yeah, I feel like Mortal Kombat Johnny just Cage a... defeated Shinnok. What? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Alright.